In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the womb women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are the womb women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pure forth, we beseech you, O Lord, you grace into our hearts, that we, to whom to incarnation of Christ your Son, was made, know by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are now on the ce celebrating the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity and the Basic Ecclesial Community Sunday. Our presider is Reverend Father John Paul Benape. Sing praise to our Creator, O sons of old Adam's race, God's children by adoption, baptized into His grace. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, O Holy God, Mighty God, God immortal be adored. To Jesus Christ give glory, God's co-eternal Son. As members of His body, we live in Him as one. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity. O Holy God, Mighty God, God immortal be adored. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi din po, Father. Ngayong araw, ipinagdiriwang natin ang dakilang kapistahan ng banal na Santatlo, Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, Ipanalangin ho natin na sa banal na misang ito, katulad ng perpektong relasyon ng Ama sa anak at sa Espiritu Santo, tayo rin ay matutong magpahalaga sa ating mga relasyon sa ibang tao. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo. And on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity in powerful majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time, ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did the people ever hear the voice of God speaking from the midst of fire as you did and lived? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, with strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors, all of which the Lord, your God, 
did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. This is why you must know now and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments that I enjoin on you today, that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption, from whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your words, O Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus has, had ordered them. When they all saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, 
all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi po, Father. Pakigising naman ho ang inyong mga kalapit, pakibati ng good evening. Sa mga galing pa ho ng iba't ibang lugar, dumayo pa dito sa Antipolo kahit maulan para makapanalangin sa mahal na ina. Maligayang pagdating ho sa pambansang dambana ng ina ng kapayapaan at mabuting paglalakbay, ang tahanan ng milagrosang birhen ng Antipolo. Palakpakan ho natin ang mahal na ina. Sa mga nakikiisa ho sa atin through live streaming mass, saan man ho kayo naroon dito sa Pilipinas, sa ibang bansa, magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang hapon at magandang gabi ho sa inyo. Mga kapatid, ngayong araw ipinagdiriwang ho natin ang dakilang kapistahan ng banal na Santatlo, Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Tayo ho bilang mga Kristiyano, naniniwala tayo na mayroong iisang Diyos. Katulad ng mga Hudyo, katulad ng mga kapatid nating Muslim, tayong mga Kristiyano naniniwala sa iisang Diyos. Pero ang, kahiba, ang kaibahan ho natin sa kanila sa paglaon ng kasaysayan at sa pagpapahayag mismo ng Panginoon Heso Kristo, naniniwala tayo na sa iisang Diyos mayroon ding tatlong persona, ang Ama at Anak at Espiritu Santo. Bagamat iisang Diyos may tatlong persona at bagamat tatlong persona, iisa pa rin ang Diyos. Ito ho yung nasaksihan po natin, hindi ba, sa kilos ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Ang Ama bilang tagapaglikha. Ang Anak, ang Panginoon Heso Kristo bilang tagapagligtas natin sa kasalanan, tagapagbalik sa atin sa Ama. At ang Espiritu Santo ang pangatlo bilang patnubay sa pamumuhay natin araw-araw. Iisang Diyos na may tatlong persona. Kung pagninilayan ho nating mabuti, masasabi natin na ang Diyos nating mga Kristiyano ay Diyos ng relasyon. God is a God of relationship. Siyempre, bukod sa ang Diyos ay walang ibang ginawa, kundi ang makipag-relate sa ating mga tao, hindi tumatambay sa kanyang trono sa kalangitan, kundi bumababa para makipag-relasyon sa ating mga tao, e kung titingnan ho natin, sa loob mismo ng kanyang pagkadiyos, binubuo siya ng relasyon. Perfect relationship between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Perfect community. Perfect love. A love that binds them into one. Kaya masasabi nating may iisang Diyos na may tatlong persona dahil sa tatlong pamamaraan na nagpahayag sa atin ng Diyos. Siya ay lumikha, siya ay nagligtas, siya ay pumapatnubay. Pero kung titingnan ho nating mabuti, kung pagninilayan nating mabuti, tayo din ay mga nilikha sa imahe at wangis ng Diyos. We are created in the image and likeness of God. Kaya naman, ito rin ho yung inaasahan sa atin bilang mga nilikha sa wangis ng banalasan tatlo. Tayong mga tao, dapat pinapahalagan din ang ating relasyon sa bawat isa. Kaya ho, magandang suriin natin ang ating mga sarili ngayon bilang mga nilikha sa imahin ng banal na santatlo, nagpapahalaga ka pa ba sa relasyon mo? Kamusta ang relasyon mo sa ibang tao? Ano pa ba ang mas pinapahalagahan mo? Saan nauubos ang oras ko? Baka mamaya, habol ako ng habol sa trabaho, habol ako ng habol sa pera, Nasisira na pala yung relasyon ko sa pamilya ko. Habol ako ng habol sa pangarap ko, nasisira na pala yung relasyon naming magkaibigan. 
nasisira na pala yung relasyon naming mag-asawa. Mga kapatid, tandaan ho natin, ang mga bagay dito sa mundo ay eh paraan lamang, ginagamit lamang para mas lumago ang ating relasyon sa Diyos at sa ating kapwa-tao. Kadalasan kasi aminin ho natin, binabaliktad natin. Ginagamit natin ang ating relasyon sa ibang tao para may makuhang bagay sa mundo. Baliktad, manggagamit. Hindi ho ganun. Ito ang itinuturo sa atin ng Banal na Santatlo. Lahat ng bagay dito sa mundo gagamitin natin para pahalagahan ang ating relasyon sa Kanya at sa ibang tao. Mga kapatid, sa pagdiriwang ho natin ngayon ng kapistahan ng Banal na Santatlo, manalangin ho tayo sa Diyos na katulad niya, matuto tayo magpahalaga sa ating mga relasyon. Manalangin din ho tayo na katulad ng pagmamahal ng ama sa anak at ng anak sa Espiritu Santo, tunay tayong magmahal, tunay tayong makipag-ugnayan, tunay tayong makapagrelasyon ng buong buo. Naway paalalahanan tayo ng Diyos araw-araw na tanging sa pamagitan lang ng ating magandang relasyon sa Kanya at sa kapwa-tao, doon lang tayo magkakaroon ng kahulugan, doon lang magkakaroon ng saysay ang ating pagkatao. Amen. Please all stand. Let us profess together our faith in one God in three persons. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God is our Creator and Father. He has given us His Son to be our life. Through His Holy Spirit, let us raise our voices as we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our church leaders be docile to the voice of the Holy Spirit, faithful for the way of Christ, and diligent in the listening to the divine word and in approaching the wellspring of grace, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. May the Holy Spirit strengthen the leaders of our country in their commitment to promote justice peace, and truth, we pray. Lord, listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. May consecrated men and women show forth their love for the poor and the open. May they be one with those in need and abound in works of mercy. May they be compassionate toward all, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to your, to your people. people. May those who are suffering because of the sickness, poverty, 
and difficulty and in relationships be sustained by the love of God and through the care of their families and friends. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. May the Lord bless the effort and initiatives of all the parishioners who compose the parish and BCs. May the spirit of collaboration bring us into the faithful, fruitful communion with the Father. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your people. people. May our departed brothers and sisters be welcomed into the kingdom of eternal life. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. Almighty Father, you have revealed your love to us through your Son and sent the Holy Spirit among us. Receive our prayers and grant that we may come to the inheritance held out to us in Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we lift up to you all these gifts we offer for your glory. We will eat this living bread, we will drink this saving cup, and feel your presence, O Lord. As we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus. Feed us now, give us life. Send us your Spirit the source of our lives and together we will serve you with love pray my dear brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Sanctify by the invocation of Your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to You, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only beloved Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God. One Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen, Amen, Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us call out to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. 
but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Po. Kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan. Maawa ka sa amin. Kordero ng Diyos aming lalako King kasalanan ning yatu pakaluluan mo kami anius de ikuitolis pekatamundi dona no bispachem. Dona nobis pacem, dona nobis pacem. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi custodiat me in vitam eternam. Amen. Pope Francis, prayer and blessing for spiritual communion. At thy feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself and offer thee repentance of my contrite heart. 
which is humbled in its nothingness and its thy holy presence. I adore thee in thy sacrament of love. I decide to receive thee in the foredwelling that my heart offers thee. While waiting for the happiness of the sacramental communion, I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O my Jesus, since I for my part, I am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee, I hope in thee, I love in thee. Amen. Amen. Horatio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear and sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures to this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick. With competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant internal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly for your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from the danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace and love of the Triune God. Thanks be to God. Birheng Maria, ng antipolo kami ay dinggin mo. Ina naming minamahal, bituin naming gabay. Tulutan mong lumaganap, kapayapaan at katarungan. Sa bayang Pilipino, namiminto ko sa iyo, Nuestra Señora de la Paz, ibuen viaje, ipanalangin.